Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Index Snapshot. This week we're going to be looking at the US NDAC 100, that's based on the US NASDAQ 100. And there's an interesting chart breakout pattern that's taken place, and that comes in alongside some record earnings that we've seen from its biggest component, Apple, along with some general positive momentum in the technology sector, of which the NASDAQ is, is largely based around. Mm. Now, technology stocks have been outperforming in U.S. markets for the last couple of years now. In 2013 and 2014, there were calls that the sector eventually would have to have a downturn. And at a couple of periods throughout the year, there was a big sell-off on the back of overstretched valuations. But as of yet, it's still one of the best performing sectors. And for now, this breakout in this, the NASDAQ 100, which does have a large concentration of technology shares, would suggest that the trend has not ended yet. And part of the reason for this breakout is its biggest component, Apple, has reported the biggest corporate quarterly sales ever recorded by a US company and appears to be going from strength to strength. There was even reports this last week that the company may be going into producing automobiles. That comes on the back of um, its soon to be released Apple Watch. There's also Apple Pay. So there's a number of products coming out from Apple which are really encouraging investors. Um, legendary investor Carl Icahn has suggested that it's worth triple what it's worth right now. So there's a lot of upward force behind Apple and that's helped this NASDAQ break, break higher. NASDAQ has actually been a lagger in terms of US indices. Uh, we've seen multiple new highs made in the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500, uh, but not so much in the NASDAQ 100. That has not yet overtaken its peak that it's made in the year 2000 at the height of the dot-com bubble. Um, so should this breakout continue, there is a possibility that we'll move on and try and catch up with some of the other indices. So let's have a look at the chart now and see what's, we'll see what's progressing. So this is the daily candlestick chart. And as you can see, we've got this declining channel, which we broke higher from last week. And some of the levels to keep in mind here is that if you take the full height of this channel and project it from the breakout area, we'd reach a level that's about 4,525. So that's 100% extension of the, the channel height. Um, a level coming in before there is 4,430. That's the 61.8% extension, which can sometimes offer a bit of a barrier to the move higher. Uh, but, but ultimately, should we in fact treat this pattern not so much as just a channel, but actually a bull flag? So taking into account this massive move that started um, from the lows down at 3,700, then we could be looking at extending that whole first pole of that big long move higher beyond the breakout and that could take us higher towards the 4,816 that you can see just at the very edge of a monthly chart if you pull that up on the, the, new, the US uh, NDEC 100 uh, which was formed as I said back in, in, in the year 2000. Mm -hmm. If we do have a quick look at the client sentiment, quite an interesting result here actually because in terms of the number of clients Bearing in mind this does change on a fairly frequent basis, there seems to be a tendency to go long. So of all the clients put together, are biased to going long the, the, the NDAC 100. But taking position value, actually more of a bias to the short side, suggesting that some of the larger positions being taken are short the market. So interesting to see how that will play out, whether in fact it's the number of clients or the position value uh, of, of our clients who actually win out on this, whether we see a, a deeper correction and a top being put in or this extension in this, uh, in this breakout going higher. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Index Snapshot. We're of course looking at the US NDEC 100. Um, got to keep an eye on the overall technology sector here. So there are some big names involved there, the likes of Microsoft, Google and, the, uh, and so forth. But a big one is Apple. And so we have the next quarterly earnings for, for Q1 will be big to see whether the massive momentum that they built up over the holiday period um, with record-breaking corporate sales can be sustained.